What's up guys? My name is Nick Davis, uh, 239 Flies. Today we are going to tie the Redfish Ritalin. It's been a pattern that uh, I've been tying for a couple months now and you guys have been really interested in how to tie it, what goes into it. It's pretty simple. It's uh, very straightforward. We can uh, go over that and we're going to also do the fly that you can tie with some of the same materials called the Marsh Critter. And both are really good redfish flies, but they're also really effective for snook and sheep's head and anything else that eats a shrimp or small bait fish. So without further ado, let's do it. The Daiichi 2546 size two in the vise, but you can tie it on whatever hook you really want to. Um, I do recommend something that's a little bit smaller like this one and try tying this on a five out hook unless you want to waste a lot of brush. Next we have some cactus chenille. This is a uh, medium size in root beer. Just past the bend of the hook. I'm going to bring it up to the top of the bend. This serves a couple of purposes but the main purpose that it serves is it keeps the tail or our pseudo hair from fouling around the hook shank in there. This is uh, pseudo hair, hairline dubbings, like uh, Supreme Hair or, it's really similar to craft fur, but it's a little bit, uh, a little bit finer. And we're gonna take about seven or eight clumps. About that much. And pluck out the the fluff. Tie this up a little bit. Pull out the longs. And tie it right behind the cactus chenille, just like that. You're gonna have a little little stupidity right there. We'll trim that up and then we're going to cover over it. You'll never even see it. In reality, with all the stuff that we're going to be tying on on top of this, it's good to have a little bit of hungover like that and then trim it on a little bit of a ramp or on an angle. So it makes a little bit of a ramp for, for the other material. So it kind of tapers down. And you don't just have a, you know, a straight drop off right there. Just makes your life a little bit easier in the next, in the next couple steps. Some barred silly legs. Lay it over like that. And then straight down the middle. And cut it just a little bit shorter than the length of the pseudo hair. Fluorescent tipped silly legs. You can never have too many silly legs on a fly. I just love silly legs. And we're going to tie it on where you got about a half an inch of the chartreuse and then starts the orange. Give that a few wraps over. And we're going to do the same for the side. Take this, stretch it, cut it. UV polar chenille in UV copper. And cut off about a six inch section. We're not gonna use that much, but stuff's kinda got a big rope that it's on. It's not exactly super easy to put on there. Grab our hackle pliers and then palmer this forward. I'm gonna put three to four wraps on this and then just kind of work your thread forward just a little bit to kind of keep that stuff facing forward, the palmer chenille. Take our, this is um, palmer chenille. Just tie it on, I got about, orange certainly doesn't look too bad, especially with the color combo we're doing today. All right, so I probably put about eight or ten wraps on there. Wrap that back a little bit. And you see how all this copper 
is now back. It's not all over the place. Got some chartreuse dumbbell eyes. This is a uh, small, this is the weight. I like to, small or medium is about the heaviest dumbbell eye that I like to tie in just because any heavier than medium and they get a little too heavy to throw with an eight weight. And then next we've got this DP Senyos Chromatic and I think this color is fire. We're using today. I use a couple different colors but I really like this one. It's gonna tie in the wire and then bring your, uh, bring your thread in front of your eyes for a couple wraps. Hackle pliers again and just start wrapping this in, palming it, getting it pretty tight, just kind of matching the wire right in front of the wire as we go down the hook shank. And then we're going to lay this in front of the eyes and try to get some of the fiber with it. Pull it back couple wraps to secure it and then cut it. Grab your lice brush, pick that out, tease all those fibers out, double sided razor and just trim it just a little bit, not a whole lot, maybe just a quarter of an inch and then kind of taper it off. Push that back, and then just ever so slightly on the front, on a very steep angle. Take your scissors and just get those unruly guys that didn't want to cooperate. Now, we'll attach a weed guard, which is something else you guys have been asking about how I do. So. We'll start our hook, or start our thread back on our hook. Mason hard mono, 40 pound, little section. Mash the tip with our pliers. Do a little bend. See how it's flattened at the end there, it's not round. That is very, very important. And then just tie that flat end right on top like that, and down. Go a few times around, straighten it up, and we'll just take it, give it a little trim, that's all we need. And then we'll finish behind the weed guard for the second and final time. Alright, last step is to grab the Saloon Outdoors Flow. Love this stuff, penetrates really well. Let's hit that up, and, and that's it. We're going to tie the Marsh Critter. So we got our Daiichi 2546 size 2 hook. We got a giant mess here. Let's attach our thread, work it to the back of the straight of the hook, right to the bend. So we got our UV polar chenille in copper. Take about two and a half, three inches of it. And you're going to fold it over on itself once and twice. So you've got all these fibers right out the back, just like that. Just at the very start of the bend of the hook, almost so that it's so that it's facing down just a little bit, ever so slightly. Get your brush in there and get that. Dumbbell eye. I got the same ones we just used for the redfish riddle Tie those in. Maybe a quarter of an inch, third of an inch behind the behind the eyes. Next step is to take this root beer cactus chenille in medium, medium size. Get a little little tie-in point there. Tie that down right on top of uh, your 
polar chenille and then bring your thread in front of your eyes. You can use the rotary function on your vise if you just want to hammer this out real quickly but I like to be able to have a little bit of control with it. Finish it by tying it in front of the eyes. Hold that back. All right, I'll grab your brush and just get in there and rough that up. It's for the redfish riddling and we'll use the pseudo hair. You're gonna cut maybe four or five clumps, five or six clumps. Kind of like that. You want a kind of a short and fat piece. Down and then you're actually gonna kind of pull it up. Pull up on the thread, which is gonna keep the material on top of the hook and not wrap around it. And take your scissors and come in here and just give this a little trim. And then just keep wrapping. And we lost a wrap there. It's okay. We're going to hit it with the lighter here in a second. Trim that up. Whip finish. Take our brush, clean this up. Okay. Last but not least, I have to use this flow from Loon over the thread wraps. Give it a few zaps. And that's it.